A powerful story of forgiveness is found in John 8, involving Jesus and the woman caught in adultery. He famously said there, let him who is without sin cast the first stone. Her accusers quietly leave, one after another, the older ones first. Jesus then tells her that neither does he accuse her, but go and sin no more a part often ignored today by our so-called tolerant society. But now, if the Chinese communists have their way, the whole story of Jesus and the adulterous woman will be completely turned on its head. In their version, Jesus himself stones her to death. What? U.S. Representative Mike Gallagher, a Republican from Wisconsin, wrote an article for foxnews.com recently in which he reports that the Chinese Communist Party is now busily at work rewriting the Bible, the world's bestseller. If they succeed in their venture, we'll go from the greatest story ever told to the greatest story ever distorted. It isn't enough that the Chinese Communists have burned many scriptures. It isn't enough that they actively ban the Bible online through firewalls on social media outlets. But apparently, they dare to attempt to destroy it from within by rewriting it. Another example is changing thou shalt have no other gods before me in the Ten Commandments to resolutely guard against the infiltration of Western ideology. Throughout history, Tyrants have tried to destroy the Bible and keep it away from the people. In some cases, those tyrants even wore clerical garb. But God has a way to turn the tables on the tyrants and to protect his word. For D. James Kennedy Ministries, I'm Jerry Newcomb.